imagine a world where nuclear bombs weren't just weapons of war, but tools of construction. A blast to build a highway. An explosion to dig a canal. In the 1950s, this wasn't a science fiction idea. It was official United States government policy. They called it Project Plowshare, a plan to use atomic bombs in the name of peace. After World War II, the United States had a problem. They had invented the most powerful weapon in human history and no war to use it in. So in 1957, scientists and generals asked a bold question. What if we could use nuclear bombs to help humanity? Instead of destroying it, to dig tunnels and carve new harbors even to extract natural gas. The name plowshare came from a biblical phrase, they shall beat their swords into plowshares. And so, nuclear peace was born, or so they hoped. The first real experiment came in 1961, a test called Project Gnome in New Mexico. A three kiloton bomb was detonated 1,200 feet underground. The goal? To create a steam cavern to generate electricity. It didn't go as planned. Radiation leaked. The steam was radioactive. And the public wasn't thrilled. But the government wasn't done. Over the next decade, 27 nuclear explosions were carried out under Project Plowshare. Some of the ideas were breathtaking and terrifying. Project Chariot proposed using four hydrogen bombs to blast a deep water harbor in Alaska. They even mapped it. The local indigenous population, the Inupiat, were never consulted. Another idea, digging a canal through Central America using hundreds of nuclear devices. At one point, there was talk of blasting a railroad tunnel through the Rocky Mountains. Engineers believed the fallout could be contained, but by now, the public was catching on and growing worried. With each test, the risks became harder to ignore. Radioactive gas leaked into the air. Soil and water contamination spread. In 1973, a plowshare test released radioactive dust into nearby communities. Public support collapsed. The media turned hostile. And the dream of nuclear construction started to decay. In 1977, Project Plowshare was quietly shut down. Its final cost? Over $770 million in today's value. And not one commercial project was ever built. Project Plowshare was bold, bizarre, and in the end, deeply flawed. It promised to reshape the world with peace-powered bombs. Instead, it became a forgotten chapter of Cold War ambition, where hubris met radiation and left a crater in history.